Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Ellen Villa Elegance Mono, part of the Prime Power Collection, which is a blend of heat-friendly synthetic and human hair. High-end, premium wigs with really nice caps. If you wanna know more about Elegance Mono, it's as close to human hair as you can get without being fully human hair. Then stick around. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me Elegance so that I could show her to all of you. If you've not visited the Name Brand Wigs website, I strongly encourage you to go check them out. They're a great online retailer. They have tons of education. They have a blog. They support so many reviews so that we've got the ability to see wigs before we buy them. Their website is www.namebrandwigs.com. I will have a link in the description to this piece as well as a coupon code so you can save 30% because this is, like I said before, a premium high-end piece and that 30% will come in handy. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. Now, I just love these blend wigs. I think they are phenomenal for realism and flexibility. They're some of my favorites out there. I own every type of hair fiber you can imagine. Synthetic, budget-friendly synthetic, heat-friendly, human hair blends, and I really am partial to these blends. I think they're just really amazing and I highly highly recommend them I know that the price point tends to be really high on the blends I do think though that they are worth it depending on what you're looking for in a wig now let's talk about the blend you can style this heat style this one up to 300 degrees the pictures on the website are styled not by name brand wigs by Ellen Villa the manufacturer you'll find those same pictures everywhere and they've put curl in that in the pieces that you see this is what it looks like out of the box it has a little bit of kind of curve under a little bit of flippies but no curl if you want to curl one you totally can change up the look completely and make the wig your own that is one of the great benefits of these blends i personally love blends when they're in the straight fibers because they are so natural and they require no styling they stay smooth and sleek whereas a human hair wig would periodically need to be styled and will uh, be impacted by weather and humidity these blends are not and I really love them for now, it. Now this piece has a lace front and a mono top it's actually a double mono top and closed wefting. Now I will say that the knotting on the lace front is just a little bit visible you can see that right there I think they did a great job of oops, just poked myself in the eye of not making it too densely knotted so it's a really realistic lace front but you can kind of see that knotting and that is really common in uh, darker colors this is a, sort of a medium dark brown and that's really common you can't bleach knots on synthetic wigs and since this one doesn't have any blonde highlighting there aren't really any light colors to bring up to the front if you are very sensitive to knotting you can take makeup and blur those knots really easily just a little bit of face powder and a makeup brush dab it on where you can see the knots it really will blur them it works great I do it often on my wigs so please don't fret if you can see knots there are some things you can do if you're looking for a wig with no visible knots I would recommend going with blondes or human hair with bleach knots that would be really your kind of your two options to not be able to see any knotting at all brunettes just tend to have that it's kind of a feature of a brunette. So like I said, it also has a double monofilament, which means you can part this one anywhere you want. So right, left, center, whatever you wanna do. But let me give you guys a caution, at least with the piece that I have, 
I really struggled to get this to part in a way that I could actually do this review without having to take heat to it. Um, the way that they tied the hair fibers into this monofilament, they're, they're quite stubborn and it doesn't really have any particular part line that it wants to focus on. I have a video where I show you how to take a, a hot comb to a wig and redirect the part and get some lift in the front with it. I will link that video in the description in case your piece comes out with uh, the same struggles mine is having with the part and you can just take a hot comb and get that part set wherever you want to set it. So it really is flexible, but you do sometimes have to work with it. So here's that lace front and it goes all the way down to the ear tabs. Now, really the ear tabs start right about here. So I would say that's temple to temple lace front. And it's considered an extended lace front, but it does end right about there which to me is plenty of lace, plus it, then you don't have to adhere it. Nice soft ear tabs with bendable stays. There's that double monofilament that they mentioned on the website, which gives it a really natural, it's nice and soft, it's not rough like some, and gives it a natural look. We have an extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and closed weft. So just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I love the way that closed wefts keep the hair in the direction that they should be. Open wefts, sometimes hair will poke through the other side of the wefts. That's really not my favorite thing and it can be hard to fix. I, I do actually really like closed wefted wigs. I know some people think they're war warmer. I don't think that there's an appreciable difference between open wefting and closed wefting, in my opinion. And you can see, it's really, once you kind of get that part set and the hair to lay where you want it, it's really a throw and go. It's so easy to wear. And these fibers could not be softer or feel more like human hair. I mean, I can just run my hands right through this piece. Look at that. It's just beautiful and it sits perfectly. Now I would consider this to be a moderate density piece. It's not low density in my opinion. It definitely has a good amount of hair. And what's really interesting, while this, you know, it doesn't technically have permatees that I can feel, the way that they put the hair up in this area back here, it definitely has volume. When I put my fingers in here, it's like I can feel that the fibers have been t sewn in or tied in in a way that they have a little bit of lift. So this one definitely gives me sort of a round bob kind of feel. And you're not going to get a ton of volume because it just doesn't have the permatease for that. But between the moderate hair density and how they, they tied these fibers into the wig, I definitely think this one has just a little bit of volume. It is, it's not feeling super flat to me. Now, you can get it flat, especially if I tuck it, which it does tuck really well, and sort of smooth it down. It doesn't have to feel full, but I can get a bit of fullness out of this one just by sort of playing with it and doing this to it a little bit. So I think it's going to be really flexible for a lot the of people. The other thing that I really like is the length. It is very hard to find a shorter bob length in human hair wigs. And while there's plenty of heat friendly synthetic and regular synthetic wigs out there like this, I, for those of you looking for the ultimate realism and convenience, this one kind of stands in a class by itself from all the wigs that I've tried. So I really appreciate that. And if you're looking for a piece that you can have a sister style to and because you don't want anybody to know that you're wearing wigs, because this is stylable, you could get two if you could afford it and keep one straight and curl the other and you've got a wig you can alternate and nobody's going to be the wiser because it's so natural looking and feeling. And my experience with blends is they do stand the test of time. I have a, a blend that I wear all the time and it's not showing anywhere. The ends are not getting frayed or frizzy at all. It's really going strong. And so I do think these blends um, offer something kind of straddle the line for a lot of us who like human hair for the realism, but like synthetic for the ease. Now, Ellen Villa fits sort of 
average to petite average and I say that because typically for me the circumference of Ellen Villa wigs fits me great I have a 22 inch circumference which is considered average and I never have trouble with the circumference on my Ellen Villa wigs as a matter of fact sometimes I even have to cinch them in a little bit for them to fit me comfortably where I think Ellen Villa runs a little petite is over the top from here to the nape now they typically fit me kind of perfectly over the top of my head and I have a very petite over the top of my head measurement. I'm very average around my circumference and so I don't get a lot of extra cap up here. I usually get pretty good coverage on the sides so it's the the side to side usually fits me great and this one is fitting me perfectly. It's giving me perfect coverage while still giving me clearance for tucking and for glasses but if you have an average circumference and an average over the top of your head, Ellen Villa wigs might fit you a little small. I do hear from a lot of you guys asking me, you say, I have a 22 inch circumference, will Ellen Villa fit me? Well, if your measurements over the top of your head are more petite, then I would say yes. It's those who are kind of average everywhere or even average large where I think Ellen Villa might not be the right brand for you. But you can look at my measurements in the description and compare them to yours. If you're just a little bit bigger than mine, I think you're gonna be okay but not a whole lot bigger than mine over the top. Otherwise, I think this one might not fit you quite as well as you'd like. All right, everybody, let's talk about this color, Nut Brown Rooted. The code is 12.830.9. I really appreciate that Ellen Villa provides the codes on these pieces that can give you kind of a, a clue as to what colors are in the style. I do have a blog post at my website where I have a talk about color. I have a document, a color index document listed where I break down the color codes for you. So if you're really new to wigs, especially synthetic wigs. The color codes are just a little bit different than human hair. You can check that out. I'll link it in the description. But this piece is just a really beautiful kind of a medium brown blended with a little bit of a golden blonde and chocolate brown. So it's a nice soft brown and then it's got darker roots. I am partial to the darker rooting. That is my preference because my natural hair is a pretty dark brunette, but they did a great job. It looks really natural. Let me get out of the frame so it'll focus on the wig. It's a really beautiful blend. So while the um, kind of the description talks about a little bit of a blonde in here, I'm not really seeing it and it's really not in the color code either. I would say this is more of a, an auburnish feel. It's not red. You can see some lighter tones in here. Can you see the dynamic? A little bit of lighter tones here and there. This one looks to me like it's a really pretty medium auburn with some light brown in it. It's not a super red, but it's kind of that auburnish uh, medium to light brown. It doesn't have any significant highlighting. I mean, it's dynamic and blended at the same time. It's not boring. It's not flat, but you don't have any stripey highlights and really no super blonde highlights. So for my brunettes who like some, you can see a little bit of a lighter tone there, like some dynamic interest on their wigs. You kind of like your auburns. This is not really red. And you like roots. This is a beautiful color. All right, everybody, let's get outside so that we can see this color outside. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you, Name Brand Wigs, for sending me this one so I could share it with all of my wig sisters and give them the information that they need to make a good decision. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Hey everybody, we're outside with Nut Brown Rooted. This is out of the box. I haven't had a chance to play around and figure out the part yet. So it may not look the same as when you see it in the video, but we're going to have some bad weather over the next few days and I need to get this filmed. I just want to explain. Such a beautiful color. There's that rooting. Yeah, I can tell this one's going to need some work to get the part to lay right. Which I will talk about you guys.
guys have probably already heard it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to say in my review yet, but I am certain I will talk about the fact that I cannot get this part easily set. windy, a little bit of sleet. You can see how it blows around in the wind. Very natural. Okay guys, it's cold out here. I'm gonna go in, but one last close-up. Okay, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching you guys.